In this problem, we have to examine the image and determine the area of the shaded tiles if each tile represents one square foot. If we examine the shaded tiles, we can see that there is no single shape here that we can just find the area of. We have to break this image into multiple shapes and figure out the area of each of those shapes and then add those areas together. We should also understand that there are so many ways that we may solve this problem you might have 10 different students do the same problem 10 different ways. So let's just start breaking up the shape and seeing what we can come up with. One shape that we can pull out of this figure is a rectangle. We can see that the dimensions of this rectangle are two units this way and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 this way. And a rectangle that is 2 by 13 units would give us an area of 26 square units. So I'm going to write the number 26 for this area that I have sectioned off here. Another shape that we can recognize is that we have a trapezoid located right here. To find the area of a trapezoid, just take the lengths of the two parallel sides and add those together. The length of this side is one unit. The length of the bottom base is one, two, three units. And you always divide that sum by two. And after you come up with that answer, you have to multiply that by the height of the trapezoid and that will give you the area of that trapezoid. And the height of this trapezoid is one, two units. 1 plus 3 is 4, and 4 divided by 2 is 2, and we would multiply that answer by the height of the trapezoid, which is also 2, and that would give us an area of 4. And we should notice that the trapezoid that is at the bottom here is just a reflection of that trapezoid, but it is congruent to that trapezoid. So we are going to write an area of 4 in this section, and we are going to write an area of 4 in this section. Also, you could have noticed that we had three whole tiles located in this area here, and then we had two halves, a half here and a half here, for a sum of one whole tile. So you could have just counted the tiles and figured out that each of these trapezoids had an area of four. Now, if we take a look at this shape right here, we also have a trapezoid. So what we're going to do once again is take the length of each of the bases, and the bases are defined by the two lines that are parallel within the trapezoid. And this right here has a length of 1, and this base has a length of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So once again, we add those two bases together, 1 and 5, and we have to always divide by 2, and we multiply that answer by the height of the trapezoid, which in this case is 1, 2, 3 units. So we have 1 plus 5, which is 6, and 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. And we are going to have to multiply that answer of 3 by the height of the trapezoid, which is 3. And that gives us a total of 9 square units. So the area of this section is 9, and the area of this section is 9. And we can just look at the front of this jet and see that we have two halves here, and two halves equals one whole. So all we have to do now is add up all of these numbers, and that will give us what the area of the shaded tiles is. So we have a 26. We have two nines, which is equal to 18. And if we add that together, we get 44. Now we are going to add 44 to these two fours here, which is a total of 8. And plus, we can't forget this one over here. So this 4, this 4, and this 1 is a total of 9, and 44 plus 9 is equal to 53. So the area of all the shaded tiles is 53 square feet.